Yes, guys, well, why not do another fucking test shot with the drill tempo kit? So what we've got mounted here is a Union 2201, okay? They're not British standard, but what they are is an absolute CUNT to pick, right? The amount of tension that's required is fucking astronomical. There is a decor out right there, uh, but they're actually really hard to decor because there's so many variations of what they can possibly be. So why not just fucking destroy this lock and get it opened up with a template kit? So what we're gonna do is get our five years. Obviously we've already ID'd it. I know what particular drill point this is. All right, so you're gonna see it's actually offset. It's behind, it's behind the bolt. So we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna go into position B7. And we're just gonna make sure that we're happy we are straight. Now obviously this is a training board, so there is no wood through there. Of course there's fucking not. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do this by hand, right? So I've already got my hard plate bit, even though there is no hard plate. So what I'm gonna try and do is keep it straight, right? And if it goes wrong, you're gonna see why you should mark up. So I'm just gonna start that off there, keep it straight as I can do. See if we can live with that, right? So if you go in there, you can see I've already made it a start. And that's where the drill point is. Okay, out you pop. Now, because this is a training board, I'm probably not to keep hold of it, but because there's no hard plate, I'm hoping we're going to penetrate pretty quickly. There we are, nearly through already. Now. Yeah, nearly through. Now what I would do, obviously normally I would to work with as a guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer this up and just see if my drill point, oh yeah, we're happy with that, we're happy with that. In fact, I've got the smart bud there. So if you can see through there, I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, we're on course, we're on course. You can actually see, if you look very, very carefully, the brass behind it, all right? Now you're not going to be able to go in with your end cut milling bit just yet because you do need the six mil hole. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little bit more. Nearly there. Yeah, so now I'm going to switch to an end cut milling bit. Off we pop. It does help with the other guy. You can see it's flattening off the hole already. Nearly through, guys, nearly through. So you can see it actually flattens the hole, if you can see that. Uh, where we go. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yeah, you can, if I get the smart button now, you'll see that we're at the brass levers there. Just a little touch left, all right? So as soon as we're through that, what you would do is lubricate the lock and make sure the lever can move up and down, which we're gonna do in a second. probably going to be a problem solver one so as you can see you can see that guys yeah if you can see that the first lever has actually moved up all right because i've penetrated too far into the lock so what we're going to do is we are going to bring that down with a screwdriver and give it a little bit of lubrication i can already see what's happened so it is about problem solving all right guys so fuck the room screwdriver it's that a bit of GT wherever I've got it. There we are. Just gonna just give it a little bit of GT. And then I'm just gonna bring that first lever back down if I can do. Right, there you go. And I'm actually underneath all the levers there. Underneath them all. Yeah, it's starting to it's starting to free up now, I think. There we go. So let's have a look. Should actually be able to see the stump. 
in a second. There we go. As you can see, the stump actually moved a fraction then. So, I'm just going to get a bit of a curtain turner in and just see. There we go. Uh, I can see the stump. I'm going to lift you up a little fraction. You can see the stump passing through nicely. There you go. Now, I can tell that I've penetrated a little bit into the lock there, so it's, the stump's not passing all the way through as clean as it should do, all right? Now, in this situation, what you're gonna have to do is basically force the bolt across uh, and then clean the cap out, but I'm pretty sure that the door will be open right about now. There you go, just force it across with screwdriver, okay? Lock's open, lock's open. Now, hopefully, we've got the impact driver anyway. What I'm going to do is whip this out. Whip this out real quick. So you can see, drill point absolutely fucking spot on for a 2101. Now, what you'll see, uh, if I can get a screwdriver anywhere, this is what you need to be careful of, guys. All right, so I'm just going to pull that off there. Pull that off there. Did you hear the lever spring back down then? So, I'm pretty much guarantee when we take the cap off, you're just going to see little metal fragments where it's splayed into the lock. So, let's have a look. And there you go, guys. All right. So, that is the danger. If you can see that little slag in there. But I can guarantee if we get the file, which I've got here. So, let's say you're on a warrant. If you just give that a good, a good clean with the file. So we're going to do now. There you go, turn off. And you put that back on, in fact. Let's just test. So, I'm going to lift all the levers up. I'm going to throw the bolt if I can do. Get across, you little monkey bastard. Come on. Come on. Off you pop. There you go. I'll just force you across. Thank you very much. And then, once this is back on now, that should be a perfectly usable lock. Good to you. Put that on. Good to you. Put that on. This lever should lift up and down, and if it does, the lock, see that guys, is absolutely usable again now. So if you was on a warrant, you'd be more than happy that that is gonna work, yeah? So that's that's what you're looking for when you drill. If you get that and the lever can spring up and down, you're living the fucking dream, no work's needed. Anyway, take care, dream big, invest in yourself. Jared.